and in this C++ tutorial we'll be doing a temperature conversion between Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit. So the first thing we need to do is click File, New, C++ Project. Uh, we're going to use the MinGW GCC toolchain and we're just going to name it Conversion and you need to add the C++ file name. So actually this is just project name, so you can just leave it conversion. Click next. And go ahead and click finish. It's going to create the project. Then we're going to expand this, and you actually need to add a source folder. So go ahead and click new, source, source folder. And we're going to name it SRC, the standard naming convention. There you go. And you can go ahead and click new again. And you're going to create a new source file. And it's going to be, just use the default template. And we're going to name it um, conversion.c++. Um, right. Click finish. And now we have our conversion C++ file. It's going to open it up and you can see name created on author. It's going to default to whatever your Windows name is so I'm just going to go ahead and change it to Ian and we're going to license it under, I don't know, let's do license JPL, no, GNU JPL V3. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to have to do is add a few um, includes. So we're going to use three, and they're going to be include. Now this is all from the, oops, from the compiler. And you're going to do alligator brackets for all of these. So, Space alligators. So we're going to go ahead and do SCTDIO CSTDLIB lib and then we're going to do IO stream. Then we say using namespace using namespace standard and it's saying the symbol could not be resolved. Okay, um, that's weird. I guess it just took a while for it to find it. Um, just keep on continuing. It should go away once it actually finds the file. So we're going to go ahead and create an integer. Int main. Main is going to be what starts our program. And we're going to put a few things inside the name. We're going to go integer. We're going to go integer. N number of args semicolon. Now this is a variable by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, semicolon space. And we're gonna do char, which is a type, it's a character. Uh, asterisk PS Z A R G S args again and we're gonna do brackets. Okay. Next we're gonna do our open uh 
open bracket. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in just some code for us so we know, and that's going to be a comment. And we're going to do a comment. And we're going to say um, temperature in Celsius. Right, and we're going to abbreviate Celsius. Next, we're going to do integer. And we're going to define our value variable, cell. Yes. Okay. Now, after every statement, you need to add these semicolons. And we're going to do a output. So C out. And we're going to say enter. This is going to be displayed on the screen, so you may want to format it nicer. So enter the temperature. Temperature in cell yes. Now S being quotes and we're going to add another semicolon. Now what one thing that's nice is I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, there it has a built-in spell check, so if you just hover, um, you know, the word temperature is not correctly spelled. And you can't really change it, which kind of sucks because I spelled it really bad. So let me go ahead and fix that. So T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E. -E -E. I'm bad at spelling, by the way. <laughs> Even though I'm in honors classes, including AP literature, you know, spelling is one of those things. And then we're going to do C input. And our input is going to be defined to our uh, variable Celsius. So, semicolon. Next thing we're going to do is a conversion factor. Now, the conversion factor is the 22. If you're familiar with the formula for converting to Celsius to Fahrenheit, you'll notice this. If you're not familiar, familiar with it, I'll cover it later towards the end. And we're going to do conversion factor. And we're going to do integer factor. And we're going to say that factor is equal to 212 minus 32. Colon. Now make sure you add a space because this is a binary operation. So I'll also cover that in a, another tutorial. Difference between binary and unary uh, operators. Next, we're going to convert. So let's just add, I don't think you're going to say convert. And we're going to convert it using a mathematical expression. And so this is actually pretty easy to do. And so we're going to, we have to, again, this time we're going to create our new integer and we're going to call it Fahrenheit. So int. Uh, let me spell Fahrenheit correctly. F A H R E N H E I T. So that's our integer. It's our variable basically. Our variable is Fahrenheit. And we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this word a lot. So Fahrenheit. Go ahead and just paste it in there. And we're gonna set that equal to our factor. which is, I basically defined it here. Uh, usually it's nicer to have things separated into variables rather than just copying this and plug it in here because it could get messy. So we're gonna do uh, factor multiplied by, and we use the asterisk symbol for that, Celsius, if I can spell it right. divided by 100 plus 32. 
Now, there's a special order of operations. It's sort of like uh, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, like you learned in school. And it follows in order of precedence, and we'll cover that in a later uh, video also. So now we, that we have that done, we're going to make our output. And we're going to do C out. C out. And we're going to say something effective like um, the value. So the value in Fahrenheit is okay now we're going to put that all in quotes and we're going to add another semicolon to end our statement then we're going to do another c out and we're going to have this be um this is going to be different it's going to start a new line so ignore this for now um i'll explain it towards the, after we're done with this so we're going to do Fahrenheit, then NL, which is basically a new line, uh, semicolon to end our statement again. And then we're going to say wait. And we're going to do, we're going to wait for the system. And we're basically going to uh, pause. We do system pause, and then we're going to return to zero to end our program. Turn zero, semicolon. So go ahead and save. Now you get this question mark here, and um, I found syntax errors. So let's go ahead and usually you're able to. Now it says there's a syntax here, which I don't understand why. Everything should be fine. Make sure there everything is in um, parentheses. And I may have messed up, maybe. Hmm. A number of arguments. Oh, there it is. That should be a comma. There you go. You have to look out for those. You can only add semicolons to a statement, and that was not a statement. So, go ahead and save, file, and then we're going to build it. So to build it, we're going to click on conversion, and we're going to go to build project, and build the project, and we're going to go ahead and run it. Now, let's go ahead and click run, run and enter the temperature in Celsius. This comes down here in the console. So let's say I enter 50. Click, click enter. It's going to say the value is 122. Now here's where it's cool. See it says press any key to continue. That's the system pause. This is a fine just, um, you know, you got to wait for you to press any key and then it's basically finished. It's going to return to zero. So yeah, it's just terminated as soon as it's done. Now what you could do, which is also really cool, if you go to the binary and see how it's named conversion exe, it's actually an x86 program. You, can, you can't really open it in here, but if you go to your, your workspaces at and you open up the folder, and the debug, you actually see the program, and you can run it inside a Windows command prompt. So let's say under 100, it's going to give out 212. 
there you go. You do like negative 12. It's 11. Now, I want to point something out. Now, let's say I do 17.75983. Notice that you can only do whole number integers, and there's a reason for that. So, let me go ahead and dissect this program into a more understandable way. So, as you know, these are comments. Now, we're going to start with int Celsius. Now, this is a declarative statement, and it defines a variable. So, the variable right here is Celsius, and it consists of a character or number. So, it's any variable. It could be um, like fives. It could be a variable if you input it, or even Z, but it's only character or number. Then, um, you notice that we have uh, semicolons, and that's the ending of a statement. Now, we have uh, C out and C in. Now, C out is, um, it's a C++ output device. And it's by that meaning that in C++ you have input and output devices. And our output is usually going to be the monitor. And our input is usually going to be the keyboard. And so it's basically a way of saying I-O, input output. So this is your output, this is your input. And for our output, we actually uh, I'll put it a statement, which is enter the temperature in Celsius. Now, it's not actually doing anything except displaying text. So the program displays the text, and it's going to go down one line, and it's going to wait for you to actually input um, a number. And see here, Celsius, this is actually the variable we defined here. And basically, our input from our keyboard is going to set it inside the variable Celsius which then later gets used in our conversion. So, next thing we're going to do is um, an expression. If you look here, I have factor equals 212 minus 32. Now, this is an expression because it's basically a statement that performs a calculation, and it has to have a value. So, the value of the factor, which is this variable right here, is 212 minus 32. It's always going to be 212 minus 32 because I set it equal to that. Now, in C++, you have things like operators, just like in math, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even modulus. In case you're in higher level math, you may use that. But those are operators, and it's, you know, basically it comes from math class. So you should have good algebra 2 skills at least. Um, maybe even a little bit of calculus if you're going to get into a higher level C++ or any other programming. So next, uh, we actually start our variable, uh, Fahrenheit, and this is where all the magic of the expression happens. So we took our factor, which is this, and stored the answer of 212 minus 32, and it multiplied by Celsius. Now, um, C++ has a order of operations, sort of like, just like math class, but you need to uh, keep in mind that certain operations happen left to right, regardless of precedence. So if you remember PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally from math class, um, parentheses and exponents happen first, regardless. And then you have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction happen from left to right, which is what we have here. So even though multiplication comes first, then division, then addition, then subtraction, it's going to go from left to right. So it's going to do multiplication, division, addition. So it's going to take factor times Celsius, divide that by 100, then add 32. Next, we're going to output our answer from Fahrenheit. So our output was, you know, whatever we typed in for right here, our input in Celsius. And it's going to take it through the com uh, to the conversion formula. It's going to output to the variable Fahrenheit. Then it's going to display it on the screen. And then you have end L, which is a special, it's special in C++ because it basically um, adds a new line afterwards. And so it's sort of like, 
when you hit the return or enter key on your keyboard. And then it's going to go to wait, which is basically system pause, which is what you see here, press any key to continue or any key to end. And then it's just going to return to zero, go back up to the very top. So that was, that was our conversion program. Now I'm going to add this to my Dropbox folder so you guys can download it. And if you want, all you have to do is click, uh, sorry, all you have to do is click file and um, open file. I may add the entire project if I can. Um, maybe zip it or just leave it, um, the C++ uh, file on there. So you basically learned how to, you know, create a program and I basically explained, this right here is your program, I basically explained how to work with variables. It's a lot like math class. Um, there's a lot of math involved in C++, especially when you're working with um, like any sort of um, expression or you know when you work with operators it's it can get pretty tricky so sometimes it may be good to have just like a notebook down uh, handy and just sort of like take notes on the side that's what I do especially when writing programs and when uh, looking through books and you know so yeah I'll end it right there you have like your second C++ project created and you basically learned how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit using input outputs and variables and in a future episode episode I'm going to cover the integers and the different types of numerical values you can have because there's a limit with an integer you can only have whole numbers by the way which is what I want to cover right now so you can't add in like decimal points so if I go ahead and click run run and I enter 66.8 it's going to give back a whole value because it rounds down to 66 this point 0.8 sort of gets cancelled out because the integer can only hold whole numbers but there, there are ways to get around that you can use float and double precision but that's going to be in a future episode so congratulations on your second C++ project and basically learned you know converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Thank you and have a nice day. Also don't forget to like and subscribe if this has helped you in any way and don't forget to leave a comment in the in the comment box down below.